All right, so we're back here with a new video, but before we get into it, a uh, quick note. I actually sent this video on my feed, uh, I think today, and I screenshot it, and I really wanted to, you know, uh, react to it with you guys. And now, before we get into the video, the video is called What Your Main Says About You, Definitive Edition, Smash Bros Ultimate. Uh, my main is Pit, by the way, so uh, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't think it's funny, because I really whoop you. Uh, other than that's a great video. <laughs> What your main says about you. I like this. Either someone who's been maining him since Smash on the 64, or someone who just wanted a character who was easy to pick up and learn combos with. Okay. Probably not the sweatiest guy in the room, but not far from it either. Donkey Kong. These people just wanted to pick up the big, funny monkey, but once they learned about DK's four different <laughs> aerial spikes, they immediately became insufferable. <laughs> we'll most likely sing the monkey rep whenever they're in the lead. Leak. Not gonna lie, they probably just play Smash because their friends made them. True. They'd much rather be playing Breath of the Wild or explaining to kids online that his name isn't actually True. Zelda. True. Someone who knows that they're gonna get wrecked if they come within 10 feet of their opponent, so they pick the character that can just spam Char Shot from across the stage. Okay. If you spot one of these at a tournament, you might want to stay 10 feet away from them too. Oh yeah, they're menaces. Either someone who legitimately knows the lore of Metroid Prime, or just someone who wanted to use the edgy version of Samus. The 10-foot rule still applies. Yoshi. Wait, what? How long has this character been on the roster? <laughs> Since the N64? So you're saying that this character has been a playable option for years? Well, excuse me for not seeing anyone that wants to main Barney the freaking dinosaur in Smash. <laughs> For some Chico. reason, nobody who mains this character actually uses Kirby for his intended purpose. Actually sucking in the opponents and taking their yeah, powers. Yeah, true. They'd I much mean, rather stick to his combo that. potential, decent punishing options, or just spamming up. Bro, Kirby is just cracked. One of the original Smash fans. They'll spend all day telling you why Melee is the best Smash game and why true. no other game will ever do it justice. True. Either that or they're just a furry. Either one is equally as likely. Oh my god. Either a girl picking up Smash for the first time and playing the only character she recognizes, or a oh, tryhard who might, hopes that maining Pikachu Mario. will just automatically make them good. Only one of those types is any fun at a party. Luigi. Ahoy, Sponge Boy, me Bob! I've been grabbed by Luigi at 6% because I got greedy and whipped in air. I am now going to take 93.5% for making a single mistake at the beginning of the game and will soon need life support. Oh no, you know, hey, you know he played it. You know he played against all these type of players, bro. Most likely someone who picked up the character just to hear the Falcon Punch quote. But True. once they realized they couldn't actually land any, they just kept using him to make it seem like they weren't just in it for the memes. We're on to you though. You can't hide the truth forever. Oh no, he's a menace. Probably some 30 year old dude with a neck beard who still lives with his mom. Oh my He's trying God. to make a living off of streaming because he knows that the outside world is too scary for him. Either that or a troll who plays FD with final smashes on. Bro, what the thing, bro? What? One of the more gutsy players bro, in the Smash community. You really, bro. They know they'll never be able to land those turnip combos, but gosh darn it, they're going to try. Their hobbies include cooking, sports, and actually communicating with people in real life. Jigglypuff mains, take note. Now you know his main like is Peach. Peach mains, but with better tastes. Unlikely to be more than 11 years old. If you ever accidentally SD, they'll start teabagging before pulling you into a side B kamikaze <laughs> offstage. I'd rather just take the 30 minute ban for disconnecting in the middle of a match. Ice Climbers, Ice Climbers is their favorite game of all time. You try to introduce <laughs> them to new games, but they never listen. They're too busy climbing. You try to talk them down, telling them that this is real life and not a game, but they never listen. They just keep climbing. Bro, they the need menace. to reach the top, even if there is no top. He's probably pissed bro. that they can't wobble in this game. More than likely made Sheik in a previous Smash game and still hasn't realized how much worse she is now. Oh, wow. I mean, th that's it. That's all of them. There are no Sheik mains who don't fit this criteria. Elba. The anime freak who picked the cute girl from the intro who uses neutral B to get out of every situation possible. Oh, wow. If they get some space between you, expect them to spam Phantom in side B. They have no problem grabbing oh, the Oh, no, he's a nuisance. Pizza. He knows all the combos and everything. Someone who secretly wants to main Mario, 
but doesn't want to come off as boring or a tryhard. They'll talk about how they just enjoy the differences between the two, but then complain about how they'd win if they were playing a high tier. More than likely a med student. Okay. Someone who never quite learned how to evolve Pichu in Gold and Silver version, so they cling to Pichu in hopes that someday it will be viable. Just like in the Pokemon games, though, it'll never be better than Pikachu. Uh, they like Star Fox, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess I, uh, I was gonna say I, I don't have one for this one. I don't know. I have no idea why someone would main Falco over Fox. I mean, yeah, they probably just like Falco. Either an old school Fire Emblem fan or someone who just transitioned from Melee. They okay. use the excuse Makes that sense. they like to get tippers to justify using Marth over Lucina, despite getting maybe one per match. They more than likely have an IRL katana in their bedroom somewhere. This man thought about everything. Nothing to see here, one. folks. Just your average sortie user. They saw that Lucina was pretty high on most tier lists and decided to try her out for themselves. They'll walk into the party with a smile, but that doesn't actually mean that they feel joy. They don't feel anything. Not anymore. Bro, this guy's a To menace. be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Young Link. The spacing is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of projectile physics, most of the arrows will go over a typical opponent's head. As a consequence, people who dislike Young Link truly are Oh idiots. no, he, this guy's Of course a they wouldn't appreciate him. He's a bully, bro. He's a bully. This guy is too busy to play the game. He needs the match to be over now, and whether he wins or you win, he will make sure that it ends quickly. After all, he's got a girl back home waiting for him. She was kidnapped. It's Zelda. Someone who knows how much that tail hurt box lie. messes up their game plan, but this is supposed to be the strongest Pokemon in the world, and they're going to make him work. Not necessarily a Gen 1-er, but will still hide in the bathroom playing Pokemon Red between sets. Oh, Rose a demon. Wanted to play as Lucina, but didn't want to play as a gross girl. <laughs> then they discovered the side B option, and... Well, <laughs> we all know what happened after that. Someone who discovered they could kill people off stage with their uppy and... Well, Listen, I'm gonna stop when he gets we to We all my know main, what happened after okay? that. My, my main is Pit, by the way. You guys know. These mains originally picked up Game & Watch because of how different he was from the rest of the roster. Okay. At first, they just wanted to see how many nines they could get with their hammer, but now they just spam up B out of shield. Every. Single. <laughs> time. <laughs> the typical masher has so many B moves that they don't really okay, have any need to press the okay, A button. I can see this. They're probably not old enough to have used him back in the Brawl days, but if he was broken back then, surely that means he's at least somewhat viable. Probably that guy who everyone knows exists, but never actually talks to. Not a bad person by any means, but more than likely the guy who takes the photo of everyone else in the group. Their favorite anime is Yuru Yuri. Okay. Okay. And he just roasted my shit. Hey, he just roasted my shit. Okay. Okay. You got me. You got me, bro. You got me. Hey, listen, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Where is it? All right, let me repeat what he said because he's not wrong. Probably the guy that everyone knows exists but never actually talks to. Very true. Very true. This resonates with me a lot. Very, very true. Not a bad person by any means. I don't think I'm a bad person. It's very true. Very true. But more likely the guy who takes the photo of everyone in, everyone else in the group. Very true. Their favorite anime is Yuri. Your, uh, I don't I don't watch anime, um, but I, I think I've heard of, heard this before. But um, <sighs> hey, he got my a. Hey. I don't know how, I don't know how he did. <laughs> He got me, man. He got me. He got me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Hey, I can't believe he got me perfectly. That is crazy. Wow. 
Everything was right except for the anime part. I don't watch anime, but like, bro. That is crazy. Um, Yeah. He really got me. Other than that, listen, uh, like I said, I'll stop. I, I stopped that mine, but I'm going to leave uh, this video link in the, in the description down below. If you guys want to, you know, see your own, um, see your own explanation to your main. Cause yeah, everybody's getting roasted. Okay. Everybody is getting toasted by this man. Honestly, you know what? Mine's wasn't really a rose. I think mine's was a, uh, he, he just stated out my reality. Well, you know what? I'll say this, right? the the group right and obviously he doesn't know this he's just making assumptions but i was actually like this bro and that's why i'm laughing because i was literally like you know i was like the person that people knew who i was but it you know people really didn't bother to like you know talk to me or whatever and so this is why like it's so funny because that really resonated with me now you know um i can calmly say that i i don't really um communicate with that group anymore but obviously it is just crazy how he was able to just like uh say something like this and it resonated with me a lot so uh that was actually a really good guess that was a really really good guess but yeah his video link will be down in the description down below if you guys want to check out your main other than that excuse me oh i messed up what the, i think my brain i think my brain was faster than my lips and so i, I tried to say like two words at the same time <laughs> see you guys later for the next one i'm out and